cultural county festivals are set to be incorporated into the country's tourism calendar to increase arrivals. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza says plans are underway to increase investments in the festivals and meetings, incentives, conventions and exhibitions to mitigate against the tourism low seasons. Our tourist arrivals in 2022 registered 70.45% year-on-year growth as the sector recovered from the negative impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. Receipts from the sector grew 83% to 268 billion shillings compared to 147 billion shillings in 2021. The government plans to increase the arrivals to 4 million tourists in the short term through product diversification, adding players in the hospitality industry to come up with an assortment of tourism products tailor-made for different demographics. We are diversifying from the bush and the beach. We're going to agro-tourism, we're going to sports, we're going to culture, we're going to gastronomy, which I think we have experienced this morning. We're going uh, as far as adventure, and you know Kenya was rated as a adventure destination number one in Africa. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Penina Malunza says plans are underway to incorporate cultural festivals into the country's tourism calendar to ensure the sector remains vibrant and active throughout the year. I am actually developing a calendar for all communities in Kenya and for all counties, and I would love it if they can come together as a region because it has more force, it has more synergy, and you can showcase big at the globe. These, as investors in the hospitality industry, have been encouraged to embrace ecotourism to reduce their cost of operations and promote sustainability in the industry. Hotels have been advised to increase investments and build capacity ahead of the Africa Climate Summit that is slated for early next month.